Hello everyone, Monty here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make what I call a little piggy waffle. And today we're making a whole wheat uh, banana cinnamon waffle that's gonna look like a little pig. So um, let's get started and I'll show you how you make it. Um, sometimes people ask me how do I decide what I'm gonna make for a meal, and a lot of times I look in my house and say, okay, my refrigerator, and I say, what looks like it's going bad? Or even on the countertop, like I saw this banana was getting kind of funky and brown, and those are the best to bake with. I always sweeten my waffles and desserts with banana. I don't use any artificial sweetener and I don't use any sugar. I only have a couple of products that I buy that have a little bit of sugar in them, um, but very little, a couple of grams. So first thing what we're gonna do is I'm gonna need to get my bowl. I forgot my bowl, hold on a second. And um, I'm gonna get my bowl and I'm gonna take half a banana and we're going to mash half that banana up with a fork in our bowl. And that's gonna be what's gonna sweeten our banana. And you'd be surprised that how sweet it is. And you know, kids love food art. And I know a lot of you tell me your kids are so finicky and oh, that would be great if it was a cartoon character or something, they'd probably eat it. And you don't have to tell them it's a whole wheat waffle. You can use regular flour as well, but I'm gonna use the whole wheat. And there we go. We're gonna make a whole wheat banana cinnamon waffle. So here we go. While I'm talking to you, I'm gonna plug my waffle iron in and start preheating it while we make the batter. Okay. I just use a regular Oster little round waffle iron I've had forever. I probably need to get a new one one of these days. But okay, so I mashed the banana up real good. Oh, I'm getting messy. I'm a messy cook today. All right, I mashed up the banana real well. I just wanna get any little chunks up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a quarter, my, all my waffle recipes are the same. It's a quarter cup of whatever flour you're using to a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter uh, cup of water. And then you add um, either a whole egg or egg whites. I'm gonna use one egg white today because I'm trying not to use a lot of oaks, yolks, excuse me. So for half, we got the mashed banana, one half. We have the, um, the um, whole wheat flour, excuse me. Then we're gonna take a quarter teaspoon of the baking powder. I'm gonna get my little quarter teaspoon out. Boy, I'm really not prepared today. Quarter teaspoon of the baking powder, okay. I'm gonna do one egg yolk, really two egg yolks equal you know, a full egg, but um, also I've got the banana in there for moisture. I don't think I need the two egg, uh, egg whites. But if you look at, you know, uh, I Googled it, but two egg whites in volume equal one egg. But I'm just gonna use one egg white. There we go. And I'm gonna put that in there. I always use real egg whites because I remember once I was trying to whisk the egg whites to get them kind of, you know, frothy for my eggs to vote and I bought the liquid egg whites and it wouldn't, I kept whisking it, nothing would happen. And then I had some regular eggs at home and I tried to, I separate them and it whipped right up so I knew that there was something funky in those egg whites. And then I've read some of the containers, they got preservatives and other crap and I don't want any of that. I buy organic eggs. Okay guys, so um, basically the only thing we need left now is our quarter cup of water. So I have the water here, I'm gonna take a quarter cup. I make all my waffle batter from scratch. Um, and we just mix this up. And we're gonna have a nice big waffle. Mix it really well. Okay, my light is on, so I know that my waffle is ready. So we're gonna open that up. Let me get my olive oil spray. And here we go my olive oil spray and I'm just gonna spray it. And then I'm gonna take the batter and I'm gonna put it in the waffle. And I'm gonna use a spatula to make sure I move it all around so we get the whole thing. And I always cook my waffles for three minutes and I ask Alexa to help me with that. Now that we've got it all spread out, Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna turn the camera off and then I will turn it back on when I'm taking it out of the waffle iron. 
and I'll show you how we make the uh, waffle look like a little pig. Okay guys, the timer just went off, so I'm gonna unplug my waffle iron. I always put gloves on, because I have to always be careful. I burn myself. These waffle irons, they get hot up here, they get hot everywhere. You always wanna be very careful. And then you open it up, it looks beautiful. And then it should pop right out. You hold it upside down, and there it goes. It popped right out. Beautiful waffle. Oh my God, so beautiful. Okay. So now once we have the waffle, on the plate and you're going to need to use like a regular dinner plate it's, it'll be enough room to put the ears up here so what i always do is i keep this side here the eyes are going to go here and the snout will go here and then the ears will go here so i always make sure that the ridge here is in the center because that's going to be important but maybe i should turn it this way while i do this and then what i do is i take my first strawberry and i just cut the top off and then I cut it down the center, and those will be the ears. And you could put the ears up this way, or you can put them the other way, either one. I think the other way is better, because that's, like you can see the inside of the ears. Maybe not, we'll see. And then you just need two eyes, and we're gonna put the two eyes right here. And then you just need a snout. So for the snout, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it off this way and we're gonna cut like a slice of the strawberry. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So I'm just gonna cut the top off and then I'm gonna cut a thicker piece for the snout. And that's gonna be the snout. And then you put that just like that. And then, actually I think I like it better this way. Nope, I do like it better this way. But the ears aren't laying down um, very easily. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut these off and make this a little bit more flat so they'll lay flat. Oh yeah, that's so much better. So you may just, I'm just cutting the rounded part off and making it flat so they'll lay flat on the uh, waffle. And there you go. You have got a little piggy waffle face. How cute is that? I don't want to tilt it too much because it'll fall off the plate, but I'll take a picture and I'll post it. And then what I like to do, see it's already sliding off the plate once I held it upside down. So anyway, so we have the little piggy waffle. And then what are you gonna drizzle on it? Well, I don't like to use syrup. So um, let me just tell you what the calorie count's gonna be for this. I think I forgot, I put everything in to lose it, which is my calorie counter, and I forgot to put in the banana. So we're gonna put a half a banana in there. And then we're gonna add that. And so the total calorie count for this is um, 240 calories. Let me tell you what it's made up of. The whole wheat flour is 110 calories. One egg white is 17 calories. Two strawberries are eight calories. Two blueberries are, uh, two calories. Um, then we have, um, actually that's wrong. It's, yeah, two blueberries are two calories. Sorry, that is right. And then a half a banana is 53 calories. And then we're gonna mix up some PB2, chocolate PB2 and water for the syrup to drizzle on top of that. And that's gonna be 50 calories for a total of 240 calories. And you don't have to feel guilty about giving this to your kids because it's all healthy stuff. There's nothing bad, there's no artificial sweetener, there's no sugar, except a couple of grams of sugar in the PB2, but just like, I think there's three grams, of, there's four grams of sugar in the chocolate PB2 and two tablespoons, that's it. And this is all natural, it's just peanuts, cocoa, and sugar, and that's all that's in and salt, that's all that's in this uh, product. So let me just show you real quickly how I make that. So I take the two tablespoons of the PB2, take about two tablespoons of water. I put a little bit less in to make sure it's the right amount. I'm sure I'll need to put more water in. You always have to play with this when you're making syrup or you're making the PB2, because I, I think it has a lot to do with the humidity in the air and stuff. I'll put the same amount in sometimes and it just doesn't comes out differently. And I'm just very careful because I, you know, I'm counting the 50 calories here. I don't wanna to have to put more product in to firm it up. 
So this would be great to spread on toast, but we need a little bit more to use as a syrup. Sometimes I use the chocolate PB2 just on toast. I make berry toast, I make little bears. And we want to get this, you know, thick to, to drizzle, but not too thin that it's very watery. So this still needs a little bit more. We want to be able to pour a little bit easier. And that should do it. And we're ready to pour this all over the waffle. But I'm not gonna do that right now because I am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take a picture of this before I pour the PB2 on top of it. But there you go, what did I say that was? 240 calories, very little. You can add some more fruit to it if you'd like. And um, your kids will love it. Hope you enjoyed learning how to make the little piggy waffle.